Hello, everyone. I hope you're feeling absolutely wonderful this fine evening. Tonight's topic is going to be monsters in our past. Demonic prehistory. So <clears throat> there's this Jurassic World slash Jurassic Quest exhibit coming to Nampa, Idaho, near where I live out here in the state. Um, really cool exhibit. I'm probably going to go to it, actually. I've always loved the appearance and look of dinosaurs, and there's just everything about them has always fascinated me. It's been a topic that I've just been very interested in ever since I was a young kid, you know, and I'm sure many of you can relate. I've always loved the whole Jurassic Park series, um, especially number one. I really liked that one, one and two. Um, and the rest were fun, but I, I especially like the thriller um, aspect of the first two. <clears throat> I think the later movies kind of, they were fun, but they were more like action adventure versus like thrillery, I guess, you know. Uh, but folks, holy shit. I mean, think about this. You know, like, especially this picture, like with this girl that's standing in front of this thing, you know, that I have as the thumbnail. I'm like, these things were fucking monsters. Like, this is what evolution came up with, you know? And in Mendham, he has a channel uh, where he talks a lot about this topic on his different videos. So check his stuff out on it, too. He um, he goes into quite dark depth on these things. But, <clears throat> I mean, think about that. Think about how fucking horrifying that is, you know? We've got this freaking gigantic walking monster. I mean, this is a thing that literally goes around eating and just devouring other forms as its sole food source. It, it literally devours other gigantic plant eaters and other animals, you know? Anything smaller than itself is just... It's a crunch machine. I mean, like... So it's it's amazing looking at this and I'm like... You have any idea how fucking terrifying that would be living in a world of being plopped on a planet where there's these things stomping all around all over the fucking place and you like didn't have modern firearms with you. Hell, even if you did have modern firearms with you, it takes it would take quite a bit to take one of these fucking things down, man. Comparatively speaking, that'd be fucking terrifying, though, if you were dropped in the middle of nowhere with no modern guns at all just in the middle of this wilderness with these fucking things running around jesus dude i mean look because think about it if the thing starts come, fucking coming at you and trying to crunch you and shit like that like what the fuck are you supposed to do <laughs> the thing just fucking kill you in like one step like one sweep of its tail like one brush of its head could fucking kill you i mean let alone you know it's crunching down on your body you know as you're screaming agony or whatever it's just fucking terrifying, man. I mean, these are monsters and there's, there's creatures like this that still freaking exist in the world, in the oceans and stuff like that, you know? But I mean, there used to be a planet full of these things, you know? I was like, God damn, dude. And it's just like, yeah, they look really fucking cool as hell, but it's just what they actually are is fucking diabolical, man. You know? And you know, the demonic entities behind this reality, they were having a fucking heyday with this prehistorical stuff that was going on, you know, you know, just generating one form after another, having life play out in this just constant devouring crunch cycle. I mean, these, these forms are really fucking like sadistic, man. I, a lot of them just the adaptations, less the types of claws that they had and like the types of teeth and just, Oh man, fuck dude. Like the rap with those, you know, those uh, feet with those huge hooks, the Deinonychus and stuff like that. You just like run after you and jump, whoosh, you know. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they were like actually smart more than likely and like organized and shit like that. So they could like organize how to like fucking kill you, you know, and, you know, like five versus one or something, you know. Fuck, dude. <laughs> just like, you know, one faces you and then the other one attacks you from behind or some shit like that. You know, <clears throat> that was one of my favorite scenes from the original Jurassic Park when the one raptor was like in front of the guy and he's like, clever girl. Then he gets jumped from the other one from the side. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But uh, me and my brother enacted that 
show like so many times with our toys when we were kids. We like reenacted that movie so many times over. <laughs> there had to have been like a year where I literally watched that movie like every single day of the entire year. And that's not much of an exaggeration or stretch. Like I, I watched that movie so many times. I like memorized the entire film, the original Jurassic Park. It was literally like the greatest thing that ever happened to me as a six-year-old. You know, I collected all the toys and everything else. I fucking love that shit, you know. Uh, and to this day, I love the look of those, the figurines, the dinosaurs and stuff. You know, I want, I'm trying to buy back a lot of the older ones uh, soon here. They made some really good ones back in the day, especially, you know. Um, but... I just think about that. Like, I don't think a lot of people just, I don't think it necessarily registers to a lot of folks just how diabolically demonic that type of a world is or would be with those things existing in it, walking around, you know? And how only a, a, a truly sadistic force or sentience could be behind such a world ever manifesting, right? <clears throat> and yes, I'm aware of there's plenty of people who don't, accept or believe evolution. They don't accept the evidence or don't understand the evidence. Usually it's, the, it's just that they don't understand the evidence. That's pretty much it. They're just not that familiar with it yet um, versus not versus anything else. But, you know, for the people out there who think the dinosaurs existed far, you know, up closer to more recent history, you know, just the point is they're monstrous things, basically. Okay, whatever your view on them is in terms of how long they were around or not. And I know there's the... There's the subset within the truth or conspiracy fold that people say the dinosaurs never existed, that the entire thing is a hoax, that they didn't exist whatsoever at all. Um, and, you know, I know those people exist as well. So <clears throat> the point being, we have modern monsters like this that exist in the world also, even if that was somehow a hoax or whatever regarding the past. But I go on the premise that this stuff actually did happen because I understand the evidence to the best of my knowledge at least I would think pretty well. Uh, and, you know, it just makes sense because there's just, there's literally physical mountains of evidence of this stuff, you know, that this, this stuff actually happened. They actually existed, so on and so forth, you know, <clears throat> but, but I'm familiar with the hoax theories. So trust me or the hoax hypotheses. Um, so just know that I'm aware of them. I'm aware of those claims, but, I mean, you talk about a vehicle for just like entities that want to feed off of screams and terror and just horror and everything else. I mean, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex form, the Spinosaurus, the Giganotosaurus, Gigantosaurus, all, all these different forms, man. Apatosaurus, Velociraptor, Deinonychus, you know, you name it. They're just like these, they're freaking perfect crunch machines. That's, that's what they are, you know? And it's like, <clears throat> and what's interesting is like throughout history too, the, the number of extinction events that have happened that, that literally wiped off out the majority of the planet's population. That's really fucking trippy to think about, you know, the fact that our entire world of civilization could be totally wiped out. Like just like that at the flick of a finger from the same things that wiped the dinosaurs out. Right. Cause there was a series of different things that wiped the dinosaurs out the, the asteroid, the meteor, was the the big one, right? Uh, and then there was a series of other environmental the climatic facts effects that followed that and were in connection to that as well that contributed to that extinction also. But, uh, you know, as humans, thankfully, we have the ability to go underground and build all this stuff. And, like, we have a bunch of facilities that dinosaurs didn't have, obviously, in terms of our likelihood of survivability, at least a chunk of us in those cases, you know, and I do the practice, the outdoor survival prepping stuff, supplies and all that gas masks and whatever. So I'm familiar with the, you know, and more than likely more ready than most people when it comes to that stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just, <clears throat> it's a, just, it's a demonic world, folks. The earth is just a demonic place. It's been demonic from day one. It spawns these fucking demonic creatures, you know, that are crunch machines of like horrific varieties. And that's what Earth has been. It's been this constant freaking crunch machine. People use the term louche farm, right? That's what it's been. That's what it still is. You know, it's a horror, terror, screaming, agony, bloodletting, just death cycle, you know, just fucking 
literally the visual I get is just like this, this constant grind wheel of blades just in forms, just being thrown into it and just screaming in agony, just blood flying everywhere. You know, it's like, that's literally what this earth is folks. It's this fucking grind wheel of just bloodshed and bloodletting and screams and terror and agony. I mean, fuck, you know, damn. Anybody who says this is like a, anything remotely like an idealized or nice cozy place, they lost their minds. I mean, this is anything but that shit, man. I mean, the fact that, you know, we only actually, the, the, the weird, bizarre fucking irony of it is the only reason we have a reasonable degree of safety most of the time in terms of not being, you know, killed or devoured by these fucking things. Well, you know, number one, because they're not physically around anymore the things that are that size, or at least for the most part, there might be, you know, cryptozoology, like up in the Yukon, you know, some stray things that survived all the way up until today or recent times, somehow, maybe that would, which would be cool if they did. I'm definitely inclined to like to believe that something survived up until the modern era. That would be badass as hell. You know, I would be the first person gung ho about that, you know, and that as pterosaurs, there's evidence that there's various groups of pterosaurs that still exist in different places, you know, the Congo and stuff. And, Papua New Guinea. So yeah, that'd be cool as shit if those things actually still somehow exist. Um, even though it's unlikely, it's possible, you know? Uh, but, but yeah, man, I just, it's because of other humans. Like it's because it's just our species is what fills the entire planet now. So our species is the one that, uh, Ironically enough, our biggest risk is from other members of our own species, you know, in terms of murders or, crim you know, criminality and stuff like this. But we don't really have much of anything to worry about in terms of the natural world much of anymore. I mean, you know, you have bears out in the wild, obviously, but they're literally the biggest of all the land predators anywhere you go. So polar bears, grizzly bears. But the amount of times people actually get attacked by those things is comparatively quite rare, especially, you know, if you got a gun and proper equipment, you can, you know, if you shoot at them and you can protect yourself decently well if you have the right gear on yourself, you know, but, <clears throat> um, and they're definitely nowhere near as fucking scary as a freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex or some shit like that, you know, um, at least with bears, it's a slightly more level playing field because they're not, uh, yeah, they're fucking powerful as shit. And as they come after you, it's scary as a motherfucker, but like, you've got a lot more ability to fight the thing versus, you know, a a Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, if, especially if you got blades and guns and stuff on you, you know, but, um, or spray or whatever, but, <clears throat> but for the most part, we're, we don't really have risk from any other species other than human beings, you know, other than, you know, yeah, you have mountain lions and bears, but other than that, like it's pretty much just other human beings that are the biggest risk, you know, because just the whole world's full of fucking cities and suburbs and just human inhabited areas everywhere that uh, there's barely any areas for any wild animals to actually really be much anymore, you know, and near where I live, it's the biggest wilderness area in the lower 48 States, which is what I love about this state. And I've always, as a kid, I'd always loved the idea of dinosaurs still being out in the wild and stuff like that. And so I'd go into the woods and imagine like T-Rex is still walking around and stuff like that as a kid. But now growing up, I'm like, holy shit, that would actually be fucking horrible. I'm actually really glad those things aren't still fucking stomping around in the middle of nowhere. That would be fucking horrible. <laughs> you know? And I used to like, I always liked the game like Turok Dinosaur Hunter and stuff like that. But I'm like, if that actually in real life happens, yeah, I would not definitely not be enthusiastic about that situation at all. Like that's, um, that would be truly terrifying. You know, uh, you'd have to have a, an insane amount of fucking balls to be able to like go up against a Tyrannosaurus Rex or some shit like that, you know, if, <laughs> and the likelihood of survival would be extremely small, obviously, but yeah, dude. <clears throat> well, well, with that said, I'd like to hear what your comments are below. Let me know what you think about this topic, this video, and just, you know, it's just, it's just sunk into me so much more in the last couple of years, how just monstrous these prehistoric things were, man. You know, I'm just like, 
wow. <laughs> you, know, you know, I think as a kid, you just kind of get like hooked on the aesthetic of them because they just look so cool, right? But it's just like, it's like, yeah, <laughs> I would not want a real life scenario of these things running around a mock everywhere. Uh, that would, you know, that would be terrifying, right? Um, but <clears throat> I mean, I really like the idea of them like being, but that's the thing. It's like a double edged sword. It'd be so fucking cool to see like them brought back or some shit, right? Genetically or otherwise. And like a Jurassic Park situation. But if they actually fucking got loose or led into the wild, that'd be fucking disastrous. I mean, <laughs> that'd be terrifying as a motherfucker, right? <laughs> so it's kind of you know, like a double edged sword with that thing, man, you know? Like, it's like, oh, my campsites, you know, the only thing there is is maybe black bears here and there. Oh, no, fuck. Holy shit. Now we got these giant <laughs> things stomping around the woods. So I'm trying to build my shelter. And look, now I got to, like, you know, build a big spiked palisade and fucking, like, have my gun, you know, <laughs> stationed. <laughs> and hope my first, you know, handful of shots actually kill the thing versus, <laughs> you know, versus not, right? God damn, dude. But that definitely makes some fucking insane skins. That's for sure. If you killed it. I mean, <laughs> you freaking use the bones for like a gigantic shelter or something like that. <clears throat> but dude, man, if you had to actually face these things in the wild. Fuck. I, you know, <laughs> I just laugh about it because just how so over the top the whole thing is, you know, it's like these things actually walked on the earth, man. Like, you know, since we're actually freaking here, folks around, <laughs> but you know, I just, nature is so fucking horrifying. Like it, Especially, especially and specifically the animal kingdom, right? <clears throat> the animal kingdom itself is probably one of the most fucking horrifying nightmares that it's ever existed in reality. I mean, people, they're just, oh, it's just nature. It's like, and you watch these nature videos, animals just like devouring zebras and hyenas, just ripping up, apart their backsides and stuff. And it's just like, we're just sitting here watching these things like, oh, it's nature. One, a monster fucking devouring another form oh nature's uh, yeah oh wow okay wow what the fuck are we doing here kind of a thing <laughs> you know it's just an alligator man there was a story about an alligator freaking crunching a kid and killing him recently in the uh where was it it was in one of the southeast asian countries man but i just god damn it could you imagine how fucking horrifying that would be and these alligators have been around since the time of the dinosaurs, for fuck's sake. Alligators look, they look so fucking cool. And their their ability to adapt and shit is freaking awesome. But they're fucking horrifying in terms of having to be around the things in an environment where they exist. Because, yeah, there's just a kid playing by the water. Boom. Alligator fucking just ate him. And this is literally a thing that's been around since the time of the dinosaurs, you know, and much bigger versions way back then. You just crunch the kid. The kid's fucking dead, you know. Think how fucking horrified the parents would be from that. And how fucking goddamn traumatic that would be. Oh, yeah. My son was eaten by an alligator. <sighs> how the fuck do you live with yourself after something like that? You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't even care if it's common in the area or something for attacks like that to happen. It's just like, that's another reason why you shouldn't bring kids here. Because they might get fucking eaten alive by an alligator, for fuck's sake. You know? Or a crocodile or whatever, you know, whatever the specific species is in that region, you know. But, <clears throat> you know, let's not have kids eaten by crocodiles and alligators. Thank you very much. You know what I mean? Let's not have that happen by not bringing kids here. Please. You know, so it's like, <clears throat> yeah, if I lived in a world where there was this gigantic fucking saber tooth and shit and like, you know, even during like the Ice Age where humans were still fighting this fucking stuff, like woolly mammoths, I wouldn't even begin to bring kids into a world like that. Like, I'd be like, fuck no. I'm just going to live my life out and then die after this. I'm not going to bring children into this hellscape. I'm just not going to do that. Fuck that noise. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I'd just be like, 
nope. And the chick's been like, you know, the cave chick be like, oh, you know, I want a babe. I want a son. Give me a son and blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, fuck, no. <laughs> I ain't going to bring a kid here. I don't want to be stepped on by a fucking woolly mammoth's foot or devoured by these fucking saber teeth that have this, you know, nine inch fucking fangs or whatever. <laughs> fuck, no. It's like, what the hell? You think I'm stupid? Think I'm crazy or some shit? Gigantic fucking wild boars, gigantic freaking uh, wolves walking around and shit. Dire wolves or whatever the fuck. There were so many fucking monstrous creatures walking around when people were still around in the Ice Age. In fact, humans, the human species almost went extinct at a certain point in history during the later Ice Age where there was only like 3,000 some people throughout the entire planet. If you're going by standard modern science evolutionary history all that stuff i know people have the narrative of you know the flood previous civilization all that stuff so on and so forth i get it folks don't worry about it um i'm just saying in that version you know <clears throat> the mainline view of what happened historically right but even then i mean even if the other stuff happened i'd st- still be the same thing it'd be like no i'm not bringing a kid into this fucking hellscape i don't care if we had technology or whatever the fuck the thing was you know I'm not bringing a kid here because there were still wars. There was still, you know, people dying of horrible diseases and, you know, at the very least wars themselves were, were killing people off, you know? So, and you know, whatever fucking other animals that still existed out there. I mean, <clears throat> the, you know, historically hunting was considered such a noble thing, especially in the ancient times. Like you go back to the days of Sumeria, Assyria, all this other type of stuff, ancient India, any of the ancient cultures, just because you had the wilderness full of these wild animals, you know, lions, tigers, that would literally just devour and eat people. So like these guys going out there and ridding the forest areas of these creatures, or at least severely minimizing their populations, was actually protecting a lot of the people from being devoured by the things, you know, Um, because they weren't any winter as underpopulated as they are today. I mean, um, and unfortunately, I mean, depending on how you look at it, right. Unfortunately, or fortunately, you know, amongst antinatalists, I mean, really the whole thing is just a fucking hellscape. You know, it's just like, you can't, you can't win for losing with it. Cause it's like, well, they go extinct. Okay. At least they're not reproducing. And, and at least that species isn't in misery anymore because they're not existing here anymore. Right. But we still have all these other species existing, reproducing and everything else. And, It's just any way you cut it, it's a fucking hellscape. I mean, (laughs) you know, and so, you know, the effalist idea of just wiping all out life and stuff like that. It's like, well, let's first get to a technological phase where we can at least perpetuate our own existence via pleasure to the max as long as possible. And then afterwards, maybe consider just doing a sterilization thing amongst all other species or something to where they'll still live their lives out. They just won't be able to reproduce or something like that, you know? Um, But let's get the technological shit down first, please. You know, that's kind of my stance on it, you know, but anyway, I hope this meets you in good health and feel free to email me. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you think about this topic. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.